Hey sketchy friends, so I have a little bit of a different video for you today. We went and visited an, an urban rooftop farm in Johannesburg, sort of more central Johannesburg, and it's on a rooftop opposite Constitution Hill, which is quite an important landmark in the city and in the country as a whole. So Constitution Hill, it's now a living museum of um, South Africa's journey to democracy, but before it used to be a prison and a military fort, but now it's actually home to, as well as the museum, it's home to South Africa's constitutional court. I've actually never been inside, but it's on my radar. I want to do that at some stage. So this building is directly opposite Constitution Hill, and it's actually a homeless shelter or a shelter for vulnerable people. So people who have been victims of domestic violence, for example, people who have had issues with alcohol and drugs, and people who've just fallen on hard times, really. One of the guys in the building below has set up this beautiful rooftop farm called Rebirth. And the idea behind it is to encourage the people in the shelter below or any underprivileged people to come and kind of have a safe space and learn how to grow their own food as well as learn how to look after something for themselves. So you're going to hear in a little bit from Papama, who is the guy who set this up, but he basically developed the idea that these people are in the system and they're, you know, used to being looked after and actually he wants to empower them to look after something else so that they become in control and they're the people taking care of something rather than being taken care of, if that makes sense. We were invited to come and have a look and basically sketch because it has an awesome view, 360 degree view of the city, which is like really quite special. So we can see sort of landmarks like the Telcom Tower, which is the big tall tower with the blue sort of strip on it there and we also can see a building called Ponty which is now an apartment block which has like a, a Vodacom advert on the top of it but it's it is like a quite a recognizable landmark so anyway so I wanted to share this with you and you know I took my tripod along and I was like yeah I'm gonna record my <laughs> my sketch and you know see what's going on however I got my tripod out and I set my camera up and I got all in position and I turned my camera on and no card. I was like, no, come on. I'd actually forgotten to put a memory card in my camera. I couldn't believe it. So unfortunately you don't have the sketch from start to finish, but what I will share with you is that I just sort of took clips with my phone as I went. So uh, you can still kind of see what, what I'm doing. I started out with a pre-painted background and I'm really into this kind of thing at the moment. I think if any of you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that this is something I've been doing a lot of lately. So much so that I've actually decided to make a little course about it because I really want to share the things that I've learned about creating sketches on these kind of abstract watercolor backgrounds. It is so much fun and it's just one of my favorite things to do at the moment. So uh, look out for that course coming soon. If you do want to be notified first, then I recommend getting on my newsletter and you can do that by heading over to urbansketchingworld.com, scrolling down to the footer and just popping in your email address there and then you'll be notified when that course is coming. So I started with this background and you know I sort of just sort of pencil things in just so I roughly know where things are going. Here I've kind of gone over um, a few areas in pen. I really wanted to try and get the sense that we were on a rooftop and that you know the things in the foreground were quite defined with a thicker line and then that skyline is there in the background sort of much more loosely defined and you can see I've got the just about got the telecom tower I, I didn't get my proportions quite right what I should have done which could have been really fun is uh, done something similar to like Lapan or Santi Salas where they actually just bend the tower to fit on the page that would have been really fun but I didn't think about it at the time You'll also notice something which I don't usually do is I've actually put a person in the sketch. 
I don't often draw people, but I'm trying to practice more. And I've actually developed a website called peoplesketching.com. And it's a library of lots of different video clips of people in public sort of, you know, going about their business, doing their thing, like sitting at a cafe or all those kinds of things. And I'm actually using that to practice my people sketching skills so that when I do go urban sketching, I can actually have more confidence that I can uh, draw people in a more of a convincing way. So if that's something you're struggling with and you don't always have the time to go out and practice out in public, do check out peoplesketching.com. It's $5 a month, which literally just covers admin and web hosting and like you know, that kind of stuff. So it's like cheap, cheap, cheap. And it's a really cool resource. And there's videos from all over the world of all kinds of people doing all kinds of things. So I highly recommend that. So here you can see my more developed sketch. It was quite hard drawing over some of the areas that were darker brown kind of color. So poor Bernard's head is kind of fading into the background there, but you can kind of see someone's there. And I also put my sketchbook and my hand uh, drawing in my sketchbook in the center there, which I thought was quite a fun effect. And, you know, you can see that I've played with the placing of things a little more. So I've moved some of those interesting planters into the right hand side of the sketch just to tell the story a bit more of where we are. So I was, I was quite happy with how it went. So anyway, I just want to um, show you a bit of Papama talking through the farm and let him explain a little more about what's going on there. Um, his work is just incredible. I am just, I was blown away. I actually got a bit emotional to be honest and I'm really looking forward to going back in a few months hopefully and seeing how they're getting on and, and what's what they're up to. These premises are owned by the city of Joburg, mm -hmm. uh, housing victims of gender-based violence, displaced people and drug addicts mm -hmm. waiting for rehabilitation. So we started this garden, we call it the Rebirth Urban Farm. Rebirth. It's all about um, giving uh, a space for the beneficiaries of the, of the facility mm -hmm. to just come here and take care of the plants. And because the, the, the system is always taking care of them, they're taken care of, now this gives them an opportunity to take care of them something. So they come here twice, twice or twice a week mm -hmm. to take care of the plants. Uh, there's always a shift in how they see themselves, how they think of themselves, uh -huh. and then hopefully then they take that shift into the greater society. And instead of seeing themselves as takers from society, now they start seeing themselves as having something that they can give yeah. back to life, back to society. Because what happened was with COVID, then people uh, for the first time had to stand in queues to be given food, to be given this, to be given that. Yeah. And these are people who used to earn their own income. And they were craving for space or an opportunity to just, to, 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 to have a, con a meaningful contribution to, yeah. to life, to society, instead of just taking. Yeah. And people just wanting to look after something, take care of something, watch something grow, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, become part of something positive, something that is going somewhere. And what's the next step for rebirth? Do you think um, we we are using these premises as, as a pilot pilot project? Uh -huh. Once we because we we started in January this year. Once we now comfortable of of how much we know. Uh -huh. um, okay, we know this works. We know this doesn't work. Then now we are then able to take the same structure, the same idea to other facilities that are owned by the city of Joburg mm -hmm. with the same, with the, that are, you know, facilitating, you know, for, for the same purpose. Yeah. Then we take this, 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 um, the same project to those facilities. And then from there, we are able now to say to corporates, we're able to say to the government, look, we, we, we can do this. Yeah. We know works. what works, we know what doesn't work. Then allow us to to green up the Josie. Yeah. To green up more buildings around mm -hmm. around the city. To green up more spaces around around the city. Yeah. So that's 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 it's, where this is going. Yeah. But the, the, the bigger picture is to is to see more greenery around Joburg. Yeah. Around around the C B D and the surrounding areas. Absolutely. And Absolutely. And, and, and that greenery must must be benefiting the the, the, the living the living beings around it in yeah. terms of, of being food, food and yeah. medicinal herbs mm -hmm. you know here you have more than 70 crops in in, in one setting yeah in, you know 
So, which means um, you don't need a lot of soy. You don't have an excuse anymore to not grow plants, grow your own medicine, mm -hmm. your own your own food. All you need is knowing how to amend the soil because that's what we started with in January. Yeah, we 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 had guys coming. Um, we've built some nice relationship with some students from vets, mm -hmm. and then they, they they came. They helped us teaching us how to do soil amendment okay. so that with that little bit of soil you are able to produce so much crops mm -hmm. from a small space yeah right so we are hoping to have a much more solidified relationship with vets and yeah. uj and other institutions and in terms of research and development you know mm -hmm. just keep developing the concept and 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 taking it further so I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. I know it's a bit of a different one, but I really wanted to share this experience with you and a bit of the story about being on this rooftop. So I know it wasn't so much about the sketching, but again, if you're intrigued about sketching on top of a pre-painted abstract watercolor background, then please, please join up to my email newsletter so that you can hear when that course is going to be released. It's I'm in the final stages now, so it literally should be about a month away, I hope. And then yeah, you can check it out from there. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this one and do check out some more videos on my channel for more sketching advice. And I will see you in the next video.